there are many myths about Jesus. In these programs, we're exploring the facts behind the myths. Before printing was invented, documents had to be copied by hand. There are millions of pages of handwritten copies of the Bible's accounts of Jesus. One myth says that the differences between these copies undermine what we can know about Him. So just how big are these differences? The question of whether the manuscripts that we have of any given gospel uh, so contradict each other that we have to assume uh, unreliability um, is a question that's often skewed by pointing to two specific passages. There is considerable doubt that what is known as the longer ending of Mark, what has come to be uh, identified as Mark chapter 16 verses 9 to 20, is what Mark originally wrote because it is not in several of the most important and oldest manuscripts. The same is true uh, even more conclusively with the famous story of the woman caught in adultery in John 7.53 to 8.11. But apart from those two episodes, nowhere else do we find uh, more than even one or two verses uh, that are in dispute. A couple of dozen of those. And again, with the luxury of manuscripts, more than 5,700 ancient Greek manuscripts, that number swells to 20,000 if we add translations into the other ancient languages of the day, we can compare and contrast and make highly informed judgments as to what the original readings were. Uh, once you go beyond that, and any interested English reader can open to most of the modern translations of a Bible in English or whatever their language of origin is and see in the footnotes and especially in the Better Study Bibles even brief discussions about the most significant and interesting textual variants. But these affect no doctrine of the Christian faith, no major ethical teaching. Um, they are interesting, they are curiosities, but uh, 99 plus percent of the New Testament is reconstructable uh, beyond any reasonable doubt. Uh, uh, Dr. Bart Ehrman has uh, been the most influential scholar to say that uh, the New Testament writings, uh, the manuscripts that we have are, are, are contradictory, that, they, uh, that the Orthodox have corrupted the text. And yet when you read his literature, his, his uh, magnum opus, The Orthodox Corruption of Scripture, which he published first in 1993, and then his Misquoted Jesus, a popular rendition of that largely done in 2005, which made the New York Times bestseller list, he really never proves that any cardinal doctrine is impacted by any of these variants. In fact, he's so much, uh, he, he says so in the appendix to his Misquoting Jesus the paperback version that came out uh, about a year later, the editors of uh, the book said, why do you believe that doctrines are jeopardized by these textual variants you've seen in the manuscripts? And he said, I don't believe that. I don't think any cardinal doctrine is affected by any of these viable variants. It's a startling revelation because the way he wrote that book, people have felt, I guess we can't believe in the Bible anymore. When the editors asked that question, what they're believing is that Bart Ehrman actually does think that uh, cardinal doctrines are affected by the variants. But the reality is he didn't think that. I've had three debates with him and each time I've brought up that quote, put it up on screen and, and, and basically said, even Dr. Ehrman can't uh, say that cardinal doctrines are impacted by these variants. And he's never disagreed with that because it's in black and white and he's put it in print and he hasn't changed his mind on that. So if you have a strong skeptic like Bart Ehrman, who would say the resurrection of Jesus, the uh, uh, deity of Christ, the virgin birth of Christ, salvation by faith, the Trinity, these kinds of doctrines are not jeopardized by these textual variants, then who could claim that they are? The myth is that differences between the handwritten copies of the documents mean that we can't be sure what we know about Jesus. The fact is that the only reason we see so many differences is because we have so many early copies of the documents in the first place. We know beyond doubt what the authors wrote almost everywhere in the Bible's accounts of Jesus. 
but before these accounts were written, the stories were passed on by word of mouth. Next time, we'll explore whether they were distorted at this earlier stage. <laughs>